The timeline allows programming of the hypnotizer system without the need for external control. It will allow you to put events into time order, allowing for a show to be programmed. The UI has four main areas by default. The timeline list, shape visualizer, the properties panel, and the editor. The timeline list is where a user can see any of the timelines that are within the component on this system. Other systems timelines can be viewed in this interface by selecting the Open Host List button here and selecting a different system to view. To create a new timeline, select the New button here and a window will open with the HippoNet overview. Within this overview, navigate to the pin groups that should be included in this timeline. In this case, I will select Engine, Mix 1, Layer 1. Select OK and then name the timeline. This new timeline will now appear in the list. Each timeline has their transport controls, a mute and solo control, settings and edit. The timelines can also be deleted and duplicated from here. The visualizer is a 3D environment used for previewing the programming on the defined surfaces. Whether this is a 3D model, 3D environment or simple 2D surfaces. Configuration of this display is controlled within the Shape Visualizer page of Zookeeper. At the top of the Shape Visualizer are selectors for the display type and the view type. These default to textured and free. The options available for display and view are like those in the Shape Visualizer and Shape Standalone software. To navigate around the 3D environment, select the window and hold 1, 2 or 3 for pan, zoom or rotate while clicking and dragging around. The timeline editor is located at the bottom of the screen when in the default view. And this area is where keyframes can be used to program parameter changes along a time-coded structure. To open a timeline in the editor, click the edit button of the timeline in the timeline list. Now your timeline and any programming will be visible in the editor window. Along the top of the editor window are a series of controls for both controlling functionality of the timeline playback and editing tools for programming. Starting from the left, there is Edit Mode Edit. This is used for selecting and transforming keyframes. Edit Mode Add. Use this to create keyframes in a track. Auto Create Keyframe, which allows the creation of a new keyframe at the playhead when a value is changed in the properties panel. Auto create keyframes when live source changes. If the timeline isn't playing, any values that change within Hypnotizer will be recorded. For example, changing values in the mixes page or from DMX. Enable blind editing. This disables vision of the playhead in the editor and stop the view from jumping or scrolling the playhead position. Enable timeline scrubbing. While paused, the timeline can be scrubbed to see live programming changes. Preview edits live. This will allow you to see live what you are editing. If a point in the timeline is moved, colour level for example, you will be able to see what it is set to. Add tracks opens the HippoNet overview where new pins can be added to create a timeline as a track. We'd use this to add more layers or mixes after the initial creation of the timeline. Show keyframe diamonds. This will toggle the keyframe diamonds from showing in the editor. Auto clean redundant keyframes. When toggled on, this will automatically remove any consecutive keyframes that store the same data values. Clean keyframes now. Searches through all keyframes in a timeline and removes any consecutive one with an identical data value. Loop timeline. When the timeline reaches the end point, then it will return to the start point and continue playing. Pause on rewind. If a timeline is playing, and a rewind command is received, then the timeline will rewind and pause on the start position. Snap 
controls where the selection movement will snap to and at what increments. Scroll controls whether the view will automatically scroll and how, either scrolls with a playhead or jumps when the playhead reaches the end of the visible area. There is also zoom controls for both vertical and horizontal scaling. The vertical scaling is found on the right of the timeline window and the horizontal scaling is adjusted using the green handles with the scroll bar along the bottom. On either side of the scroll bar are the start and end points for the timeline. These can be adjusted to change the overall length of the timeline. It's worth noting that when loop timeline is toggled on, these values mark the start and end point of the loop. The properties panel on the right side is a context sensitive window which will display the properties available depending on what is selected in the timeline editor. Selecting either a keyframe or a track will display parameters in the properties panel and keyframes within different tracks will have varying options available as well. The parameters available in the properties panel are pins within the track. Therefore, selecting a keyframe in the source track will show the parameters available to that keyframe, which would all be included in the source selection part of the media player.